Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Big Rig Frosty Gaming. How's everybody doing? Happy Friday. T-G-I-F. We're on a map we haven't been on in quite some time. Uh, awesome map. Love this map. Uh, this will be like episode five, so we were playing it pretty heavily when it first came out. It's called The Valley, The Old Farm by Black Sheep Modding. It is very good. But we've just been so caught up with all the other maps and series that uh, I kind of just haven't streamed it in a while. I had the itch. So uh, we got it all set up, ready to rock and roll. We're going to be making some alfalfa bales. We're going to be making some hay bales right now. We purchased cows finally. We didn't have cows on the first four episodes, but now we do. So we're adding cows to the barn that's uh, the cow barn that's on the map. And uh, we got to get some food made up for them. So let's get moving, all right? We'll put up all the statistics there. We got our mini map on the bottom left. Precision farming active as usual. We only have $1,500 in our bank account. It's the month of February. A little chilly out there. I think we decided to not do seasons on this series. Yeah, series, yeah. Seasons is not active on this series, just because we were taking a break from it. So I'm going to leave it the way it is. Um, but yeah, we got a nice Voltra. Switched in some of the machinery, not much of it. We got a Voltra. I traded in the Fent. We were using a Fent. It just didn't have quite enough power for these uh, hilly fields. So I traded that in for the Voltra. Uh, we still got the new Holland. We'll be using that to uh, turn the grass over to dry with the tether. And then we still got the JCB from last time. Nice old school fast track 150. We'll use that to use the merger from the hay and forage DLC. That's pretty much like a windrow, but you can uh, push, all the, push all the grass to the right or the left or the center. So we'll be using that to make nice Pretty rows of hay. All right, so let's get to it. We also got some stuff to uh, sell, of course. Uh, this map is geared a little more towards... Um, let's get that closed. A little chilly out. It's, it's geared towards some productions. We got, like, apple orchards. We got apple trees over there. You can make apple juice from your apples. You can do all kinds of stuff. It's quite lovely fired up here get it nice and warmed up for a second sharp little tractor huh? you like that oh, nice the beacons and everything pretty sharp looking right huh uh emily hi 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 hello hello hi 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 hello and hi that's for emily holy cow Hello, Emily. <laughs> uh, Glenn Mead, what's going on? He says, what mod has Miss Frosty riding shotgun? I think that's called Kubota Passenger Extension or something. It's for the Kubota DLC that came out a long time ago. They made like a passenger. I forget the exact name of it, but I think that's what it's called. Passenger ex Extension Mod or something. <clears throat> All right, let's get cutting some grass. Jeez. Uh, hey, Frosty, been in college, so haven't been to see many streams. How's it going? What's up, Will Horton? How's it going there, sir? Well, tell your dad I said hello to him, too. Holy crap. Uh, hey, Fro... <laughs> Jeez. Sparky's in the house. Halls are popping. What's up, Halls are popping? What's up, buddy? Uh, hello, Frosty. Can you do a flyover? I forgot what this map looks like. A flyover. I suppose we could do a flyover real quick. Yeah, it's, it's been a minute since we've uh, been on this map. All right, so we don't own many fields. We own this grass field. Uh, we own this little alfalfa field here. And there's our apple trees. We got a little stone crusher we put in to make lime out of our stones. So stones are on on this series. We do own this little octagon looking field that's got some wheat growing in it. <clears throat> and then here's the main farmyard. Got our sheep pasture. 
where our little goats and sheep live. And that's where you feed them, and they, they require straw bedding on here. It's pretty cool. Uh, Red Acres, how's it going, buddy? Miss Fire Slaying, hello. Nikki Vanson says, hey, Frosty, I can get a honk of tootie for my grandpa. Here you go. There's for your grandpa there, sir. Did you feed your animals, says Robert? Yeah. Black Sheep Modding is, he is awesome. He's a very good uh, map maker. He's also the one who made uh, The Old Stream. I think that's the name of this, the other map, or... What's that other awesome map he has? Is it called the Old Stream? Uh, but here's our little garden that we have right behind our house that makes red cabbage, melons, and lettuce, I believe. Here's our cow stall, which we haven't used until tonight. So it's built into the map, but we finally uh, purchased a bunch of brown Swiss cows. We got a bull, an adult female, and then like 50 uh, calves. So we'll be getting them all prepped and ready. We got to get them straw bedding. We're going to make some TMR. So that's their that's their open range, I call it. It goes under the bridge here. And they've got tons of space to just chill out and enjoy life. Over here is the uh, silage bunkers where you can put your grass, which we don't have much, but we got a little bit. There's about 100,000 liters sitting there. We'll be dipping into that tonight to make a TMR mix. Uh, other than that, just a bunch of fields everywhere. It's a very pretty map. I do have a contract right there who they screwed up royally. So we'll have to finish that contract. <laughs> and then we got pigs way over here. We do have a pig pen. Right here is a pig pen with the pig, pig feed mixer to feed them with. And they're all kind of chilling out there. Slurry bunker. They also have manure right through here. We can scrape that up and put it into a trailer. And then once you get into town, it's got a pretty good sized village. That's where you'll see a lot more of the productions. There's a French fry factory, which is right here. Bring your potatoes here and make some French fries. And then here's the big local uh, garden that we own. This makes all kinds of uh, vegetables and all kinds of good stuff. It requires pallets, manure, fertilizer, and water. So it's not your basic uh, greenhouse. So we'll be working there tonight, loading up some stuff, selling it. And that's pretty pretty much it. There's, I mean, there's more to see, but we're going to get to working. We've got too much work to do. All right, let's hop out of here, get out of flight mode. And get back to wherever we were. All right, there's your tour. How's the tour? Was that a good tour? Nice and quick. All right, right. Get her lowered and let's get cut. Uh, Earl McGraw, this map's called The Valley, The Old Farm. Yes, The Valley, The Old Farm. It's on the Mod Hub chat. <clears throat> What's up, Bradley Simmons? Glengar says, oh, nice. You can muck out the animals on this map. Yeah. It's pretty sharp, man. Not bad. I'm surprised you haven't tried it yet. Yeah, that's a good map. <clears throat> Yeah, I think the other one was called The Old Stream. Did anybody put that in there? Mr. Stearman's in here. What's up, Stearman? How uh, did you did you do what you said you had to do today? Did you find anything good? Got Mr. Stearman. Everybody's been asking about you. Everybody's like, where's Gumby? Where's Stearman? I kept telling him he's just been super busy with life and the kids and all kinds of things going on, but... It's nice to see you stop in and say hello, sir. Everybody's been asking. Almost every day, someone, at least one or two people are like, where's Gumby been? Where's he at? All right. Uh, hi, Frosty and Chat. What's up, Ian W. from Australia? Farmer Trio, WD40's in the house. Dennis Gers says, thank you, Frosty. I appreciate the refresher. While I'm not that old, it helped me remember. Yeah, it's, it's a sharp little map. We don't own many fields, though. 
I think we only own... Yeah, in possession. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot. So the only actual field fields we own are 57, 55, 93. These are over by the pig pen. And then we own this little wheat field and the field we're on right now cutting grass. So we really don't have a whole lot of property. But uh, maybe after we sell a bunch of stuff, we'll see if we have enough to buy a new field. I don't know. We're using all kinds of mods on this uh, series for like field leasing. So we can lease a field anytime we want. We don't have to follow like any survival rules. This isn't a uh, survival series. Just a good old farm and enjoying a, a nice map. Right. Uh, Mr. Frosty, the other map is called The Old Stream Farm. Yes. The Old Stream Farm. Very good map. Very good indeed. Lift it up. Anybody like the Voltra? Pretty sharp, uh, pretty sharp ride. It's got like 210 horsepower. Seems to be doing just fine on these slopes. Uh, we got Bradley Simmons coming in with the uh, gifted membership. We got one gifted membership going to Fent. Farmer 1167. Thank you very much, Bradley Simmons. Thank you, sir. And how's Fent Farmer doing? There you go with the gifted sub. Very nice. Can't complain about that, huh? Hop in and get a gifted sub. Very nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is that the Vulture T there, Lottie? This is a modded one. It was off the mod hub. It's just got a little uh, extra extra options on it. It's the Voltra T190. And it's got some cool stuff. It's got these little... I mean, you can put that on there. It's got different beacons. and It's got the uh, interactive controls, which I love. Pretty cool. Look at this stankin' cool, my... Yeah, I only get to use these type of tractors on, like, a European map. Because you don't really... I don't even know if there's anybody with a Voltra in America. If they are, they haven't told anybody about it. It seems to be more of a European tractor. But I think they're pretty pretty awesome looking. Like a mix between a... Like a mix between a McCormick and a New Holland. I don't know what you... It's, it's, an, it's a cool looking... Cool looking tractor. Unique is what I would call it. We don't, those Swiss cows have any holes in them. They need, they're, they're going to have holes in their stomach if I don't get them some food quick because they have zero food at the moment. No food, no straw bedding, nothing. So that's why we're going to hurry up and try to get some bales made up for them. Right, but happy Friday, everyone. Hope everybody had a decent Friday. Uh, hello, hello, very nice tractor. I will only be able to watch Friday night when I'm at my mom's. That's fine, that's fine. Appreciate you tuning in. My day was just fine, do Ann Baker. Just fine. The kids had uh, early release, so picked them up at like 1.45. So yeah, mowed the grass, cut the yard, got it all looking pretty. Miss Frosty was trimming all the rose bushes and planting some new thing she got. That, I forget the name of the flower. They're big ones. They like, I, don't, I forget what it's called. But she was doing that and she accidentally uh, got attacked by an anthill that was underneath the grass. Like you couldn't really see it, but it got her good. She's got bumps all over her legs and hands. There's like hundreds of uh, those fire ants that got her. She had no idea. She was like, 
just doing, you know, doing some gardening and then came in the house, like, not in a good mood, which I've, I know, I've, I've had that happen to me before. It's, it's painful. Those little, little bitty fire ants can really do a number on you. But yeah, her day wasn't quite as good as mine was. Ah, uh, let's see. It's stinking hot over here. At the, is it hot over there, Glengar? It's hot over here, too. We're supposed to get some rain tomorrow, so maybe that'll cool things down a hair. But yeah, summer's been a brutal summer, as usual, in South Carolina. It's always, always a bit toasty. All right. The field is all cut. Get this parked and put away. Actually, no, we're going to cut the alfalfa field, too. Might as well go over there right now and give her a little haircut. Come on. All right, so now we're cutting our alfalfa field. Oh, look how pretty. Isn't that just beautiful? 123% yield. Delicious alfalfa. Right. My dog Gizmo is happy that you're alive. She, oh, well, I'm glad I'm alive too. I'm glad Gizmo cares about that. Uh, Mr. Frosty, it's Miss Frosty has some coconut oil. Oh yeah, she's got all the remedies. But man, it is not fun. Yeah, not fun when that stuff happens. All right, let's cut us some fresh alfalfa. Eh? Try not to hit the water tower. Yeah. <clears throat> Crop destruction's on, but I don't own that canola field. It ain't gonna hurt nothing to drive through it. It ain't gonna hurt a thing. That's some thick alfalfa, man. Good stuff. Very thick. That. Yeah, yeah. All what do you think, chat? Uh, sorry, I was late. I had a toothache all day. Almost bought me to tears. I usually have high pain tolerance. Toothaches are horrible too, man. I haven't had one in a long time, but when you get them, it just makes gives you a headache. You just don't feel like eating because it hurts. It's not fun. I hope you feel better, buddy. What's up, Metro? Michael Gaiman's in the house. Ian Oppenheim's here. Christopher Larson's back. Chris Melson, Wilson says, how do you like that Vermeer mower? I've used this thing so many times. I love it. It's one of my favorite uh, pull behinds. Um, did a crap load of grass cutting on Ohio Richlands with this mower. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Look at that thing. Look how thick that alfalfa is. Jeez. Jay's LaWace. So fresh and colorful, so bright. Alright. Nice and close here. Gizmo loves when you're on YouTube. Me too, Jeremy. I love it. Nathan Vincent, what's going on there, buddy? Jim Petty, welcome to Jack Wacker Level 1. That's Jim Petty. His egg cracked. Did you notice that, Jim? Your egg cracked. It's not just an egg anymore. You have a cracked egg. That means you're moving on up. Moving on up. All right, guess what I had for dinner tonight? I don't even know what these were called until I had it. We had, listen carefully, pot liquors. Pot liquors. Has anybody ever had pot liquors for dinner? <laughs> this is the first time I ever had pot liquors. And I just might be a pot licking fan now. They're pretty good. They're from Costco. Good old pot liquors. 
I don't even know how. To, it's kind of like a pierogi. Kind of reminds you of a pierogi, I guess. It's like a, you like boil, like deep fry boil the, the whole thing. Just put a little oil in the pan, about a cup of water, throw down about 15 pot liquors. Did I say pot liquor? Pot stickers is what I meant. <laughs> Did I say pot liquor? Pot stickers. That's what I meant to say. I said pot liquors. That tells you how much I don't know what they are because this is my first time ever having them. I called it the wrong thing. But that sounds funny too. Pot liquors. Pot stickers. That's what I meant to say. They're pretty good. I like dipping. I drizzled some uh, sweet and sour sauce on top of them. I don't know if that's good to you guys, but man, I thought it was a good a good combo. It turned out good. It's from Costco. Big old bag full of them from Costco. And easy to make. You just bring the, the pan to a boil, and then you put the lid on for like eight minutes, and then you take the lid off and let it boil the water till it's gone. And then it's ready to eat. Stinking good. I recommend it to anybody that wants a pot sticker. Don't be shy. Give it a shot. You only live once. Got to try new things, right? Final swipe there on the alfalfa. And then uh, Duan probably noticed I missed one little spot over here. Right there. All right, now we can fold that bad boy up. I don't care who you are. That's funny right there, says Jim. It's very warm tonight. Don't know the temperature. Due to have a thunderstorm tomorrow night sometime, I'm sitting beside my fan. Elizabeth, we got thunderstorms hitting tomorrow, like around noon or afternoonish. What's up, Thomas Heyman? Hey, Frosty, happy Friday. Hope your week was good. Mine was very good, says Brian Pilzinski. Mine was good, too, Lottie. I had a lovely week. Tomorrow we have, like, a big uh, community yard sale. And we have, like, a huge neighborhood. So uh, that'll be my morning. The kids and Miss Frosty, they're pretty excited. They, they, they love the yard sales. We'll be driving around looking at everybody's crap that they don't want. But, you know, someone's crap is someone else's treasure. That's what they say, I guess. All right, oops. All right, cool. So we got everything cut. Now I just need to uh, tether. Get the old New Holland fired up. Off we go. Tractor's got a nice uh, sound to it. Howdy, Frosty and Chat. I want to thank everyone who showed me love and prayed for me. It's going to be a long road to recovery. I'm in pain, but at least I'm home. No solid foods for weeks. It sucks, says Kevin Flores. Did you get to bring um, Gloricia? Does she, does she come home with you to make sure you're staying out of trouble? She have to check in with you and make sure you're eating pudding and jello and that's it. I'm glad I'm glad you're home though. I'm sure you're happy to be home. Yeah, everybody was asking about you, man. The first night when I, I made like an announcement, just letting everybody know, because we all know you. You're here every night. So I let everybody know and you should have seen all the people that were uh, worried about you and thinking about you, buddy. Uh, we got Kyle Walters coming in with the five dollar super chat. It's a sent an application to join your Blizzard Express. Very nice. <laughs> Woof. If I remember, Kyle, are you in my Discord? You really need to join the Discord. I mean, you don't need to, but it's cool. If you join it, um, there's a VTC confirmation section where you can say, hey, it's Kyle Walters from YouTube. 
and once I get you set up, then you'll have the role as a driver in the Discord where you'll be able to see everybody else's loads pop up in the Discord. There's like a section where all the loads pop up. And there's also a section where you can get uh, company paint jobs for your trucks and trailers. So if you haven't yet, uh, you should join it. Exclamation mark Discord. But you don't have to. I was just letting you know that it's there if you want to join it. All right, old New Holland's getting her done. I love the little uh, flapper on the exhaust. Love that. Right. Glad to see you home, Kevin Prince's Allen. Oh, and even though not feeling well, we still gonna give you crap when the Cowboys lose this week. Oh yeah. That's not going to change. He should know that. He still have, at least he'll be able to relax and just enjoy the, the football game, right? No worries, nowhere else to go. Sit there and watch it. I'm doing good, Matthew Walter. How's it going, buddy? It's making some hay. Almost all the bolts on my GT chair were loose. Luckily, I keep the old DeWalt impact driver under the desk. Yeah. Oh, I got your shirt and hat on. Not specifically yours, but the one you sent me. Uh, one stack Mac. Yeah, I got this Stein. Got the Stein shirt on tonight. Then I got that one of the, one of the two hats he sent me. Got the American flag one on. All right, my wheel's all jacked up. I gotta fix my wheel. One second, chat. Why the heck it does this over and over again? There we go. And then it goes right back to not working. Whatever. I'm so tired of G-Hub. <laughs> the G-Hub's trash. I am so bad. <coughs> you heard Kevin took a principal job in Oklahoma? Gloricia stayed at the hospital. She stayed at the hospital. Nice. <laughs> All right. All right, once we get this all flipped over to dry, we'll get the uh, hay and forage merger going. We'll get some nice, pretty rows. And all this hay is gonna go towards our cows for a TMR mix. We already got plenty of silage. I, I had to buy some straw because we're in the middle of winter. We kind of ran out of straw. Alright. Pretty satisfying, I'd say, huh? Quite enjoy making hay. You know what I wish, though? Just from the many, many videos I've watched of real farming, of people cutting grass and making hay. It's from, I'd say, almost 80 to 90% of the videos I've ever seen. After the grass is cut, usually it's a little more yellowish, the grass stubble, which would be nice, because then you'd be able to see the hay a little better. There'd be more contrast in the color. That's just, I'm just saying what I've seen from the real life videos. It seems like the stubble should be more of a yellowish color because it's the root of the grass. It's a lighter color than green. You know what I mean? Anybody know what I'm throwing down? There's Frosty just talking some crap. You know what I'm saying? What do you think? What do you think? You just joined the Discord earlier? All right, yeah. Put your name in the VTC confirmation and I'll get you figured out, Kyle. All right? Moderators, you know you know what to do. You know what to do if you see what I keep seeing. I'll let you guys do what you think is necessary. <laughs> I, I, for sure, I always think about that. Is it you do too? Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else about the grass cutting comment? Huh? This thing's not got much giddy up, but I like it. It's like just enough for this type of chore. 
And I like the uh, cabless tractor. Pretty sharp. Uh, you laddie, the grass is yellow when cut on Valley Spring. Yes, you are right about that. All maps should be like that, right? Thank you, moderators. Thank you so much. Whew. Thank you very, very much. I'm glad you saw what I was seeing over and over again. Uh, John Williams, what's up, brother? How did you get the spawn point when to buy something from the store? That is called... Uh, a mobile work... No. What's that called? I know Steerman knows if he's still watching. Oh, gosh. Mo mobile workshop is when you're able to stand next to the vehicle and open up and fix it and customize it. The <laughs> shop deliveries mod. Yeah, shop deliveries mod. I think that's what it's called. It's on the mod hub for, uh, I think it only works for PC, of course, because you got to do key binds. It's like control, alt, left control, left alt, plus S is how you place the, place it. All right, we got all that hay flipped over. Now, I think our sheep, our sheep will eat, um, I think they'll eat alfalfa. Let me double check that. I'm pretty sure that, I know the cows will. But let's double check the sheep. The sheep and goats will eat alfalfa. They get 100% yield. So we're not gonna dry the alfalfa. We're just gonna merge it into nice rows and make bales. That'll be bales to, uh, for these guys. The hay field we just did, that's all gonna be for the cows, which at the moment have nothing. So we gotta get them some faith. All right. Uh, what's up, Van Booski? Says, howdy, failers. What's going on, buddy? How's Van Booski doing? What's tonight, Friday? Is there any Friday night football on? Can't remember if they do NFL on Friday nights. I know there's a lot of high school football on tonight. Nah, NFL isn't NFL Monday, Thursdays, and Sundays. Yeah, I don't think they ever do Friday games. Alright, the old New Holland did quite splendid. Got very nice sound to it. I like that tractor. Alright. So now it's merging time. Or we could take a quick little time out and go make some money. How about we come back to the merging in a little bit? Let's go deliver my truckload of stuff. Because we want to make sure we get that done. The earlier, the better. Gave the truck a different paint job and different rims. I wasn't digging the one that was in the thumbnail. It looked a little too, uh, looked a little too pimped out, if you know what I mean. So I went with more of a, it's a good old fashioned, like pale yellow paint job with the old rims. Thought that looked sharp. All right, so first stop is the apple juice factory. We got all our fresh apples that we've made and we got a rooster riding shotgun. The, he might be coming with, I don't know. All right. Watch out, Billy, get out of there. All right, we got some melons, honey, red cabbage loaded up, all kinds of stuff. Remember, I, this is how you guys are going to remember this map. Once I start driving on this road, remember how bumpy the roads are on this map? Look at that. Look at this thing. The roads are a little rough. Big old potholes everywhere and big old bumps. It's almost, almost dangerous. Almost makes the vehicle want to flip over. It gets a little rough. Especially if you go too fast. Just bouncing around. Right. 
Uh, good evening, Frosty. How are you in the chat doing tonight? I hope you're having a good night. I'm doing good, Daniel Ricard. I'm doing well. At least the equipment is finally clean. It is. Yeah. No survival series here. This is just uh, straight up farming. All right. Follow that guy. Looks like he knows the way to the apple apple orchard facility. Good thing you're never drive faster than five mile an hour. I'm already going like 33. Talking about. Got the hammer down. Uh, by the hey, hey there, Frosty and chat. And for Kevin Flores, I'm not sure what happened. Yeah, Kevin had to go to the hospital. Not good, not good. He's in some pain. I just joined like 10 minutes ago, so not sure what happened. Oh, we're just uh, making hay, making alfalfa. I'm going to the store now to, not the store, but I'm going to different productions right now to sell stuff or add things to be made. Getting rid of all my apples. I remember they did an update because the curbs were all jacked up. Like, if you hit a curb on this map, your car would just go flying or get stuck or flip over. I think all that's fixed. That's how the road should be on the farm? They should. Nice and bumpy, huh? <clears throat> all right, here we go. So here's the entrance to the apple orchard. I don't know why I keep saying apple orchard. It's the entrance to the apple juice and raisin factory. So what we're gonna do is unload the apples over here, and then we're gonna pick up apple juice that we made in the past. We're gonna deliver and do a pickup. All right. Straps off on the bed here. Takes a minute to unload them all. Come on. To, 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 to die, sonny. All right. Get rid of all these ones here. Switch straps off. <clears throat> all right, so if we look at the facility bottom right of the screen, you'll see we're adding all kinds of apples. And then we'll be able to continue making apple juice. Apple juice. Delicious apple juice. Straps back on. Then we'll load up the apple juice that we made. If it lets me. Gotta be a little closer. Uh, let's see. So good to see you, the VLLs in chat. Big Orange Nation is huge. Sorry, Frosty was talking to Rhett. He let me know I was behind on the stream somehow. I'll worry. <laughs> I've done that before. It do doesn't start you right where you start. Uh, did you all know growing alfalfa is banned in most Arabian countries, but they need it for their livestock, so they started companies to grow it in Arizona, another place hurting for crop water. I did not know that. Very interesting. Hopefully this will load these up. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Right. So we got our apples loaded up. Let's just make sure that it's activated to make more apple juice. Okay, it's not. So we're going to reactivate that. It's going to take all those apples and just convert it into apple juice. Blam, bam, thank you, man. All right, now we got to go sell all this crap. Uh, let's see here. Restaurant, restaurant. Apple juice is going to Chesmiki at Fredo. 
But we'll see what other places we can sell it to. That we have to sell it there, huh? Hmm. All right, we'll uh, head to this place, the restaurant. Wherever the restaurant is. I think it's down in town here. All right, so to the village we go. Oh, and I got canola oil I got to pick up. Hang on. Where's that at? I know there's an oil mill around here somewhere. I think it's further in town or something. We do have canola oil that we made. We're going to pick that up and sell it. Got quite a bit of products that we're ready to sell. Frosty, do you got space hard drive? NBA 2K24. I'm not getting that one. I didn't play. I got 2K23 last year and really didn't play much, so I'm going to pass on 24. Yeah. Jelly Roll is good. Stewie Norfolk's in the house. What's up, Stewie? Tony Martig's in here. Hello, Tony. Sounded German there, did I? That truck has a really tall first gear. Well, Scooty Pooty edited, edited this one. Uh, because when this truck came to the mod hub, I don't know if anybody remembers, we used it for the first time on this map. It couldn't pull anything. Like, if we would have hooked up this trailer, the front end would have just flew up into the air. Like, the weight distribution was all jacked up. So Scooter's workbench, he uh, edited it to fix all that and then sent me a, a fixed version. Been using it ever since. Because before, we couldn't even pull this trailer. Yeah. See here. We're delivering over here. I'm fine just selling all this at one place. The price differences aren't that. Yeah, there we go. We're going to back into this place. Our flash is on. <laughs> At the old farm sim horn. Right, so this is the restaurant. They're gonna get some lemons, some honey, some red cabbage, and I'm hoping they take the apple juice. It's a restaurant. Little kids want apple juice at the restaurant. They better take it, right? Top right corner, chat. Yeah, they're taking the apple juice. They're taking everything. Excuse me, they're taking everything. Nice. Good chunk of money right here. Uh, how much was that? About $13,000. Plus, we got one more pallet to sell here. Red cabbage is worth a good chunk of money. Yeah. At two thousand dollars for one pallet of red cabbage. That's some delicious red cabbage, I guess. All right, that brings us up to sixteen thousand five hundred dollar. I got to figure out where this oil mill's at. Oil mill. See here, so we're sitting right there. Got French fries. That's our garden. We do need to stop at the garden. Dairy's way over there. Lime production. Biogas plant. Carpentry. Well, where the heck are you? Oh my gosh. The oil mill was right next to the uh, apple place. That's all right. All right. We're going to head to the main garden center in town. And we're going to load up all our uh, other fruits and vegetables. Right in here. Find a nice place to park. We can auto load all the stuff that's outside. We got three gardens outside. And then the indoor garden, we'll have to use the forklift to bring it outside. Back 
Tiger in here. Uh, what's up, Sparky? Back beside that? Yeah, I, I messed up. What's up, John McKinley? How's Johnny doing today? Just joined the Discord. All right, Robert. Yeah, Discord's for anybody to join. Steve Cook's in the house. What's up, Steve? You ever do a Prairie Farm Michigan four-time playthrough? I have not, no. I'm not, I'm, I'm honestly not real big into the big maps. Um, the big square fields. I just... I get bored of them real fast. I like I like the custom shaped fields and I like a lot of detail. Like the detail here, you're not gonna see that on a Michigan map. You're just not. I've I've played on the Michigan maps and they just I get bored, that's all. And that's just my own taste, my own opinion. But yeah, I kinda lean more towards these type of maps. That offer a little more detail. All right, we're gonna leave the auto load on. And pretty much just park right here, and we're gonna see how this works. Hopefully it works pretty good. All right, so we're gonna load up what's inside the uh, garden center. I uh, never had pulp and apple juice, Kevin. Pulp. Any of you watching Deion Sanders coach Colorado football team tomorrow? It's at noon. I'm kind of excited. That does sound pretty exciting. I'll be yard sailing it. Or no, I'll be just getting back from the yard sales. Maybe. Maybe I'll get to see it. I don't know. But probably not. I just don't really watch football anymore. But that is pretty cool. Deion Sanders coaching. Wow! Those just magically appeared. Tomatoes everywhere. Alright, there's some uh, melons. See, so, yeah, I'm thinking if we just park these right over here, it'll take them right off my forks, right? How nice is that? Alright. Get the strawberries. Go. Beautiful. And then we got one more pallet of uh, red cabbage again. Nice. Uh, Tony, I think he meant applesauce. Hello, Frosty. Happy Friday. Hello, Sam. I'm full. Went to a church dinner tonight at a buffet. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Feeling a little stretched out, aren't you? Red cabbage with sliced sausage and onions sautéed. Mmm. Says Wesley Bowman. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right, let's get this loaded up. Hopefully it takes it. Yeah, so we got a full load there. We're going to turn auto load off. Disabled. That is a nice looking load right there. Before we head out, I'm going to... I'm going to add any pallets that need added... Actually, they're full of pallets. That's pretty much full. But we'll put a bag of uh, fertilizer in here. I think that's about half empty. We'll do that real quick. All right. There you go. And then once our pigs and cows start bringing us more manure, we can bring the manure over to this place and dump it into the uh, manure box. Because this garden, I'll just show you in the production screen. It's pretty cool. The basic gardens on Farm Sim, you only put water in them. That's it. You just add water. <laughs> but on this map, it takes it to an extreme level. 
So we're at this, uh, we're at the large greenhouse right now. So it requires water, solid fertilizer, straw, manure, and pallets. You have to buy pallets. So you need all that to be able to produce tomatoes, lettuce, red lettuce, strawberries, and melons. Which that is exactly what we're doing. But we are a little low on fertilizer, so. Just bring it on in here and dump it in. Go. All right, that took that whole bag. So that brought solid fertilizer. And you know what? Let's go put the other bag in there. Why not? It's probably going to take the whole thing anyway. But I might invest in a little trailer uh, to haul manure with to occasionally bring over here to dump. I think that'll be a nice investment. Doesn't tomato juice have pulp? <laughs> I don't drink it. I don't know. I don't. I don't like tomatoes much. Only time I'll eat tomatoes is on a salad. That's. I don't like them on a burger. I don't. Well, BLTs. A BLT. I like a nice cold tomato on there. Yeah. You got a new ramen sweatshirt yesterday, like ramen noodles. Some mater juice is thick. Sure is. All right, we're all finished up here at the greenhouse. Lights off. Beacons off. Close up. There we go. We're going to go sell all this stuff at the restaurant. We already know that's uh, where the best price is. There's the French fries shack. That's where you sell French fries. I think episode four, we we planted potatoes, and I think they'll be ready to harvest in like a month or two. So all the potatoes will go to the French fry factory and then sold at the French fry shack, which is pretty cool as well. All right, second delivery coming on up. Is a nice hefty load. And I got a car behind me. Not good, Mike. We'll let him pass. Alright. We'll let that guy cross. I wanna run him over. Oh. Caught on the curb a little bit there. <clears throat> All right, delivery number two at the restaurant. All kinds of goodies. Top right corner. I just don't like tomatoes, and I do not like tomato juice, but I love tomato soups, says do I and Biker. Uh, thick mater juice is mater paste. They're too lazy to cut their own taters, slackers. They're too lazy. All right, we just made 18 grand on that load. That's good. That's see, that's good money right there. You get you get rewarded by having to put more effort into the greenhouse. Like the base game greenhouse does not make you much money at all. But on this map, you got to put in a little effort to keep the greenhouse running, and you get paid back for it. So that's a good chunk of money right there. All right, we're going to head to the oil mill and snag the canola oil. Go sell that, and that'll be it for deliveries, I promise. And then we'll get back to the farm and start working on finishing the, the hay and the alfalfa bales. 
I need to, I should probably focus on the hay first. We really need the hay bales to get finished first before the alfalfa so we can make some TMR to get the cows fed for the first time. For the first time in forever, I have fed my cows. Ow! Just made a new hit right there. Good stuff. So we, I drove right by this last time. It was right next door to the stinking apple juice factory. I missed it. All right, so what's our lightweight? 3481. Yeah, that first gear is a little rough. I hear it. It's like... go 5,000 liters of canola oil head out of here Let's see what our uh, heavy weight is 8130 so we gained about 4,000 kilograms if we're going by European weight It's a nice fragile load there. I think, I don't, are those plastic bottles? Those look like plastic. Yeah, those are just good old plastic bottles of canola oil. So we'll get them all shaken up on the way to the uh, sell point. All right, let's see what's paying the best. Uh, canola oil. Going to the pizzeria. All right, pizzeria it is, eh? This is also back in town, I believe. I'll start stepping on some grapes for you with your bare feet. That's that's the number one rule, right? Love liverwurst. I remember my one of my best friends growing up, his parents always made liver and onions. Like that was one of their big dinners. They'd have at least once a week, they'd have liver and onions. And that was, I knew that was the one night of the week if I got invited to come over for dinner, I'd say, sorry. I don't, I don't think I can make it. Let me know, uh, wait a minute, you said you're having pizza tomorrow? I don't, I think I'm good tomorrow. I might be able to come over tomorrow, buddy. All right. But yeah, liver and onions, nah. Nah. Now these days, I probably wouldn't mind it at all. I'd probably actually think it tastes pretty good. But as a kid, the smell and the texture and the way it looked, the sound. Snedex. I love Lucy making grape juice. <laughs> Did she do it with her bare feet? Right, where the heck's the pizzeria? Going on a little uh, adventure here. All right, I think I got to look at the map for a second. We're sitting here. <clears throat> oh, wow. We got to get down there. huh? So actually, if I just stay on this road, make a right, and then it'll take us into town. All right. All right, so we're following this road all the way there until we have to make a right. And that'll lead us to the pizzeria. That's what we had for dinner tonight, says Walter Trent. Liver and onions. There are, but I hate gizzards. You don't like gizzards, huh? If you add some bacon with those onions, it'll taste great. There's all our pigs. More piglets than pigs. I got lots of piglets back there. It's turning into transport simulator tonight, huh? But this will be the last delivery, I think. And then it's just work, farm work. I might actually pull over up here and we'll finish a contract that a hired worker did not finish for me. 
<clears throat> so we might take a detour here for a minute. Yep, there he is. He did not finish the job. So we'll finish the job. And he just made a big old mess. Look at that. That looks horrible. That looks downright hideous. So I think this was cotton stubble on a field covered in lime. So we'll try to knock it out real fast. I think it's a contract paying like 6700 bucks. I was real low on the dough, so I had someone working a contract to make a little extra money. Do you hire... Do I, It looks like something do and would do, doesn't it? Looking a little rough, eh? We'll focus on the bulk of the field. Tractor struggling a little bit, huh? Hey, Frosty, is this map PC or on console too? Ugh, I wish I knew right off the bat. I can't remember. I know it's on the mod hub, but I can't remember if it's just PC or if it's both. I think it's only PC, but I, I could be totally wrong. It might be for both. But it's called The Valley the Old Farm by Black Sheep Modding. You like that map, Deep Creek? How's Deep Creek doing, buddy? Yeah, it's been a while since we've been on this one. Ugh. John, if Scooty Pooty was here, he'd be making fun of this tractor so much. This thing is really having a hard time <laughs> and it shouldn't it's got plenty of power this is bar borrowed equipment for a contract we don't own this equipment at all just borrowing it doing good hope you're well i'm doing just fine so thank you it's on both okay so it is on console and pc so there you go the valley the old farm it's stiff. That's a nice, uh, different style map for console. Being able to do the, the apple juice and the French fries, you know, mixes it up from the monotonous other things you usually make in productions. Just want to get this thing done. We are at 91%. We're doing a cultivating contract for Jean Cuvier. 9.17 acres. So it's a decent sized field. I might need to let Mr. Cuvier know that his tractor is slow as a dinosaur. An extinct dinosaur. See what I did there? Slow as an extinct dinosaur. Crossplay, yes. Fireslands in the house, Mr. Fireslane. You working right now? The stickers are making me feel like you're working with those stickers. You're out there you're out there working tonight, right? You just summoned him. I'll check it out, says Harold Dittmer. There you go, Harold. There you go. What do you think, chat? You like uh, going back to an older map for a change? Because lately I've been kind of sticking to the, uh, the the two series. We got the old school American Farming series and then the new survival series. I've been hitting those two pretty hard. 
So I was hoping tonight you guys would like visiting a map we haven't been on in a while. Hey, Frosty, I'm farming on American Falls map. I like it. Well, there you go, Daniel. Good job, buddy. Good old map, says Jim Pettit. Yeah, that's a good old map. All right, we're at 95% completion. Once it says 100% complete, we're done. We don't have to do the entire contract. Or we don't have to finish the whole field. Let's wait for it to say it's done. Should be popping up any minute. Come on, come on. Once we sell the canola oil and collect our mission money from this, we should be sitting well over 50k. Is that a nice? Yes. It's always a great time, says Bradley. Uh, I enjoy... Oh, it's finished. There we go. Javier grants you 5% discount for future field purchases. All right, we can return this crap. Mission complete. All right, so we go over to contracts. All done. Lease cost was 965 to borrow his equipment. We're going to make 51... 5100 bucks. There you go. Collect. Bada bing, bada boom. Now it finishes it automatically, which is nice. So we're sitting at 39 grand now. And we can go deliver our canola oil. And this field right next to me, that's the field we planted on episode four. That's our potatoes right there. Once those bad boys are ready to harvest, We'll probably uh, lease a potato harvester, and then all those potatoes will go to the French Fry Factory. And that's going to be a perfect yield. Yep, next month it'll be ready to harvest. Nice. Look at all my cows out there in the field. So cool. That's a huge cow pasture. So nice. All the way over there, under the bridge, wraps around all the way back to the cow barn. So nice. All right, so once we get to the end of this road, we make a right turn, and that takes us all the way to uh, the pizzeria. That's that's who wants the canola oil to lubricate their dough. What's that sign say there? are heading towards Villeneuve Mosnac. That is. We're never done with the map until we get the wind turbine. Ugh. Are you playing on hard economy? Uh, I don't think on this series, no. The survival series, the Western Wilds, that's like the... F maybe the Maybe only the second time I've ever used hard economy. So yeah, most of the time I just keep it on normal or even easy. <laughs> Excuse me. Almost there. Nice scenic drive though. I know we've been driving a lot, but at least it's been scenic see all the uh, fields and villages and so this is the southwestern corner of the map which has its own little village uh, pizzeria still haven't found all the pigeons there's like a handful of pigeons scattered all on the map that you're supposed to collect. I don't think we found them all. I couldn't even tell you which ones I have found. But, uh, yeah, they're out there somewhere. 
All right, top right corner again. Boom. About 16 grand. That puts us at $55,000. We just sold at the Pizzeria Ciabella. Established in 2008. That first gear is nasty, isn't it? Jeez. Sounds like it's going to blow up. <clears throat> all right, back to the house. We're all done with deliveries. Yeah, I think we're supposed to turn this way. Yep, 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 yep. Are you really been enjoying the white farm lately, thanks to your streams? The white farm? Yeah, good map, isn't it? It is a good map. I think I played on that so much, too much lately, that I burned myself out of here. It's not over. I'll come back to it, but I did burn myself out a little bit. I streamed that series. What are we on? Episode 13? in a very short amount of time. Like, I was hooked on it there for a while. So, don't expect to see it as heavily as we were on it. I'll probably be mixing in other maps. But, uh, good. It's a good, very good one. I think I missed my turn. That's all right. We'll just go in on the dirt road. Or is this my turn? Yeah, it's my turn. Bring her on home. Now get them cows fed. could uh, get more straw bedding put in real quick before we continue the the bailing yeah I want to show you I want to show you guys this uh, telehandler look at this thing that not sweet or what man that's nice that is a JCB farm special turbo plus fire this thing up. That thing's sweet or what? I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, nice map, but they need to change that paintable grass. This is one stack Mac. Paintable grass on what map? The white farm? Frosty, you're a busy man tonight. Come on. What's up, Night Rider Gaming? What's going on, buddy? How's it going? Doing all right? Feeling all right? That's right. I am, and it's been a really busy day, says Mr. Fireslam. Staying busy, huh? Makes the night go fast, though. Let's be safe, sir. You know what? I bet we could pick up all four... This thing looks like it's got some uh, good weight distribution. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The white farm. I plowed up all the cow, pasture land, planted grass in there on my map. Nice. What's up, Oregon Trees? Hello. Oregon Trees is in the house. Oregon Trees is in the house tonight. What do they call that? A teles telescopic telehandler or something? Not the proper term. Got my sensitivity to uh 
pretty cool. Look at the detail on it. Look at that nice beacon with the round strobe on it. Got the old uh, filter in the back. Above all the wires hooked up to the... Every, it just looks cool. Cool little machine. Nice sound, too. Alright, fire up the old case. Get some straw bedding put in here. up William Smith they call it an overkill fork truck an overkill fork truck lock it what happened to my door here why is it so you can uh, just drop bales but, uh, oh yeah, I forgot we can straw bed the garden. That's cool. Look at this. So the garden requires straw. Boom. Just throw it right out there onto the garden. <laughs> Brownie batter bowls or go out for ice cream. Which do you vote for tonight? Miss Frosty was going to make me a, a brownie batter bowl. It's like, no, thank you, but thank you for, for asking. I don't, I don't like the brownie batter bowl. I like the brownies. The batter just kind of doesn't sit in my stomach very well. Ugh. But I'll do you like a good batch of brownies. All right, straw bedding's going into our new cow barn here. Probably gonna take all the bales if I had to guess. bad, huh? Not bad. This is a good map for sure. Some unique features. I like it. Yeah, it's the valley, the old farm by black sheep modding. It's good. <clears throat> I had a feeling it was going to take pretty much all those bales. Tractors are screaming. All right, good stuff. So let's just double check here. Whew, that didn't even that didn't even bring us up to 50%, but that's plenty of straw for now. Uh, let's head back down here and then get back out into the fields and make some hay bales so we can make a TMR mix. I want to preserve all that straw I purchased. I'd rather use it for TMR. So we'll get back to this scene. All right, let's head back out to the field. Uh, special brownies. Brownies might be the greatest dessert ever. A nice warm brownie. Oh, so delicious, you know? So good. You can throw chocolate chunks in there, chocolate chips or Reese cups. I don't care. I like it. When I hear Miss Frosty's making some brownies, I get real, real excited. Time to do some merging. All right. Oh, it's not letting me close it from the inside. Dang it. Oh, maybe it will. Oh, there it is. Nice. We got Kevin Flores coming in ridiculously hot with a massive 50. 
50 dollar super chat from the one and only kevin flores ladies and gentlemen says frosty have you ever had blood sausage i don't know what that is i don't think so no i took my first ride in an ambulance wednesday night not as uh hyped up as tv makes it (laughs) i've never rode in an ambulance thank goodness hopefully i never have to right have you ever gone to the emergency room? Yes. And if so, for what? I thought I was having a heart attack. I, I woke up with severe pain. This was a long, this was, I don't even remember when this, how long ago it was, but I was a truck driver at the time and I was doing manual unloading. I mean, I was in good shape, but I, they, I was having spasms, chest spasms is what the doctor said. But it scared the crap out of me. I was in so much pain. Like, I couldn't even roll over. It was a severe pain in my chest. So I it was like, I don't like going to the hospital. I hate it. But I rolled. I couldn't roll over. I just kind of yelled at my wife in the middle of the night. I was like, I can't, I can't move. It hurts to breathe. Like, I was scared to death. So she rushed me to the ER, like, in the middle of the night. And it was... I had like a panic attack on the way there because I thought I was having a heart attack. Like I was all, I was all jacked up. So yeah, that was the uh, only time I had to go to the ER. But then my son, he broke his wrist. That last summer or is that two summers ago now? Yeah, when my son broke his wrist, that's the most recent visit to the ER that the families had to make. But other than that, we try to stay out of trouble. <laughs> Easier said than done, huh? Uh, Frosty, are you ready for winter? Yes, I'm ready for fall first. I'd like that before winter. You going anywhere for Thanksgiving? Friend's house. We're going to a friend's house for uh, Thanksgiving dinner. How many hours do you play on Farm Sim? Uh, a lot. I've got like 2,500 hours invested on this game. <laughs> Man, that is a lot. Uh, that sounds scary, says Oregon. How are the wife and kids? It's good to be back. Uh, they're doing good. They're doing good. My son took a hard fall yesterday playing basketball at school. They have like a black top outside, and he biffed, ripped his hand all up, took a big chunk of meat out of his palm. But uh, he, he, he seemed like unfazed by it. But it looked pretty gnarly. He didn't seem to be affected by it. Yeah, I got 2,000. Last time I checked, I think I was close to 2,500 hours on Farm Sim 22. Just Farm Sim 22. Yeah, quite a bit. All right, so this is the merger I was telling you about. We can go to the middle. Or we can push it to... uh, This is going to push it to the left. We're going to push it to the right. I'm just going to kind of show you how it works. So it squeezes together. And now when we go up this hill, we can push it all to the right here, which is pretty cool. There you go. So now we can make a big chunky swath. I could do a 360 turn at the top of here and go back down the other side and push it all against this and just have one big massive pile. But yeah, that's from the hay and forage DLC. (coughs) Excuse me, I got a slight little cough tonight. I apologize, I keep coughing into the microphone. Uh, Thank you so much, though, Kevin Flores, for the massive support to the show, as always, buddy. Thank you very much, man. So if I wanted to, we could get real close to this and just make one big chunky swath. (laughs) 
so that's going to really be pumping out some bales on that swipe. <laughs> I, I rather have it separated and go through the center. I feel like I'm getting more done. So that's, that's what I prefer. So I switch it back to this. Where it spreads open. And we drop it down the middle there. Just feel like you get more done that way. But if you wanted to get fancy and do it the way I just showed you, you can do it. Left, right, center, whatever floats your boat. All right, so we'll just keep it set to this for the rest of the uh, merging. <coughs> Goodness. Yeah. Did you read my questions? Yes, me, I read your questions. Uh, 2,500 plus heading to 3,000 hours. You're almost to 3,000. Jeez, Knight Rider. Holy cow. Wow. You outbid me. Yeah, I'm sure there's many of you in the chat that have more hours than I do. Um, I wonder how much Oregon Trees has. How many hours you got, Oregon? Were you saying thousands of hours to me or thousand of hours? That's what you got. I wonder what organs got. If you play farm sim, which probably 220 of you out of the 222 do, if you know off the top of your head, how many hours do you have invested in playing the game? Like I said, I'm somewhere close to 2,500 hours. Not really something to brag about, I guess, huh? But hey, I want to see how much you guys have. Is that merger on the Mod Hub Frosty, says William Smith? It's the Hay and Forage DLC. The Hay and Forage DLC that came out quite a while ago. This thing is hurting on this hill. This is a very steep slope. Having a little bit of trouble. I'm going to kind of combine this right here. Get it away from the fence line. There we go. Uh, how do you like this old JBC? Awkward looking tractor, huh? I'm at 906. Jimmy Cox has a whopping zero. Cody's got seven to 800 hours. Only a few hours I couldn't get into the game. Really? So you, you'd rather watch it than play it. You're one of those, huh? Very nice. Very nice indeed. Nothing wrong with that. How many ever, however many hours Frosty has, I have one more than him. Yeah, right. You never play farm sim. You did way back, but yeah, if I had to guess, you might have, what, 300 hours, maybe? You play, yeah, I don't know. You played it heavily there for a little bit, but. This is a nice fancy design we got going there. <laughs> I could combine that, huh? Yep. I just find uh, find this satisfying when we're working in the grass fields. One of my favorite chores to do. But I think the uh, Hay and Forage DLC was what, like 11.99 chat? Anybody know? 
It's okay. It's all European stuff. So if you don't like European stuff, then you're probably not going to want to buy it. It has, like, zero American equipment. But I could care less about that part. It's got some cool stuff in it. A uh, reminder. Yep. A uh, reminder. Tomorrow is that little uh, bale stacking challenge thingy I was telling you guys I was gonna do. I'm not streaming it. The only way you'll be able to visually see it, I think, is by watching Virtual Farmer, who is a streamer on YouTube. I don't know if anybody else is streaming. I, I'm not. I don't know all the details, but I know he is, and it's going to be at 2:30 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, Saturday. And I'll be going up against somebody else, uh, an American farm streamer, and it'll just be you know the good old stacking challenge. Whoever can do it quick. And I just found out today it's one round elimination, one chance. So if I get beat in the first attempt, then I'm done. It just goes, it's going to be a very quick tournament. <laughs> but, uh, so, if you guys want to check it out, that'll be around 2.30 p.m. Eastern, and you need to go watch Virtual Farmer on YouTube. All right, that looks good enough to me. Let's get this thing folded up, put away. Finally get the baler out. What's up, Brian Oxendine? We got Jacob Nunkstia. Jacob Nunkstia! Coming in with five Big Rig Frosty Gaming memberships. That's Jacob Nunkstia. Uh, thank you so much, Jacob. We got one going to Aaron Vernon. One going to John Williams, Chris Wilson, 96 Cody M., and William Smith all getting gifted memberships. Uh, we also got one coming from Duane Biker, who's uh, sending one to Kelly Langness. Kelly Langness, congratulations. Uh, thank you, Duane. Thank you, Mr. Nunkstia. Anytime I say Jacob's last name, I think of Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't know why. I just think of Arnold saying, Jacob Nunkstia, come here. Come here, Jacob Nungstia. I don't know why. Anybody else feel that way when they see his last name? Or am I the only weirdo that thinks of Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> uh, thank you, guys. <clears throat> What's the streamer that is actually streaming it? Virtual Farmer. His logo looks like a black and yellow V and F. If you see that, you'll know that's the right guy. Virtual Farmer. Yes, sir. I, I really don't know. I don't know much on the details of how it all's going down. All I know is I'm going up against some guy named Tony. He's a streamer, I guess. I, I've never heard of him, but that's that's my opponent. That's all I know. He will be my challenger. All right, we need to bail. I think we're going to use the square baler. Going to fire up old deep Silas. Actually, crap. This thing is almost full of uh, alfalfa. Hmm. I don't want to waste the alfalfa. At 60, you know what? Let's just uh, make one alfalfa bale. One alfalfa bale, eh? Keep an eye on this. This field needs a uh, wind road, but we're not gonna we're not gonna do it quite yet. I just want to make one bale. Once that hits 100. percent 
we'll empty it and then we'll go move over to the hay field. There we go. That's all I wanted. Easy peasy. I'm gonna drop that right here. There's a fresh, delicious alfalfa bale. Even got nice twine on it. You know us. All right, hay baling time. Get her done. Let's reset the bale counter. Uh, right control M. All right, let's see how many bales we get out of this field we just did. Oh, that is filling up quick. That's what I like to see. Stuff. House Frost down here watching. What's up, Jason Cobertson? I'm doing well. Rabid Rob's in the house. What's up, Rabid? Orville Ward's in here as well. What's up, Orville? Thank you, Duane, for the gifted membership, says Kelly. Isn't it nice? Isn't it nice? Thank you so much. Been kind of a sick a little the last few days, but hope I get better to enjoy the weekend. I hope you get better too, man. Yeah, no fun being sick. No fun, mate. I'm going to try to snag this little bit here. We can hide the fences if we have to, and we're, we're gonna have to. So I'll show you how that works. So we can not have to mess with the fence while we're bailing. But all you gotta do is stand right here. This is on any fenced area on the map. Uh, it'll have these little monitors. You just click, and then the fence disappears. And now we don't have to worry about running into fences. The nice little feature there as well. stuff back at it funny as crap the stomach but still poopy Ugh. no fun when you got the poopies I hope you feel better rabid get better so you can enjoy your weekend Once we get the perimeter done, we don't have to worry. As much of missing spots, it'll be a little easier. I don't know, I went in and practiced uh, Brian Santor. I think not yesterday, but the day before, I went in and practiced stacking some bales. I'm not the best at it, but you never know. I did like eight bales in a minute and 56 seconds. That's not that great. <laughs> so I don't know, I might get my butt kicked tomorrow. I have no idea. Peppermint is better than Pepto, right? Sure. Yeah. That Pepto is nasty. <laughs> I remember that as a kid. And Tums. I remember taking Tums when uh, I'd have like uh, acid reflux, all that stuff. When I ate spicy foods. And then I just finally got smart enough and stopped eating spicy foods. Because I just couldn't handle it. But I'd always have Tums on me to help ease the pain. <laughs> You love minty things, Deep Creek. Uh, 30 bales. You think there'll be 30 bales, Wolfback? Sick during the week is fine. Weekends, I know. When it's during the week, you're at work, so who cares, right? But nobody wants to be sick when you're not at work. It's the worst, man. the frosty drone for a little bit. Mm. 
Mm. This is the, we're doing the swipe right now that we double merged. <laughs> it's pumping bales out like crazy on that one. Nice. We got like four full square bales on that one row. Very lovely. bad frosty i got a question for you would you do a convoy in ats in the future i don't i really don't know if i'm gonna i'm serious as much as i love everyone uh the last convoy convoy i did was a hot mess it always is it never goes smooth uh i always lag other guys in the convoy lag and rubber band and then you got red acres flying around like a maniac i'm kidding rep but yeah, it's it never goes, it just never goes well. So, I doubt it. Probably not. <clears throat> I am terrible at bail loading. I believe anyone could beat me. Got to get an auto bailer, <laughs> like me, buddy. Yeah, I don't mind manually loading, but for the sake of everyone watching, I use the uh, the auto trailer. To just pick them up. Waiting to see what kind of comment we get back from Rhett. He's angry. I was having trouble with my <laughs> He'll come up with some excuse for his horrible driving. Ah. But even when I did, uh, when I participated in Intense Gaming's charity convoy last weekend, that, that was a hot mess too. People were losing connection, wrecking randomly because of lag. It's just, it's, I can only handle so much of that. Right, get out of the drone for a little bit. Got matching tractor and trailer here. The Baylor, same brand, Dutes, Duits. What do you guys say, Duits or Dutes? D-O-O-T-Z, just, I know that's not how it's spelled, but do you pronounce it D-O-O-T-Z, Dutes or Duits? And is there even a proper way to pronounce it? Is it just a free ball game, you know? However you want to say it, it's how you say it. Because I've heard some people say duits, and some say dutes. It's crazy. They say TMP had better connection than the ATS. I, even non TMP, I used to hate doing that too. It's just lag city all the time. It's just, you got so many different people from different areas with different connections. It's just very hard to make that game work I guess I don't know I remember back before I was a streamer I was I would occasionally join big Euro truck simulator convoys I'm talking huge like tons of trucks on TMP and it was just a hot mess no matter how organized and professional you wanted it to be it would just always turn into a hot mess and I just, I just can't, I can't take it. I can't, just can't do it. And we are getting a crap load of bales out of this field. I'm loving it. Loving nice. That fresh cut field, I can smell it right now. That fresh cut smell. Yeah, yeah. Real good. Uh, Pennell Farms. Thank you for subscribing a few seconds ago. That's Pennell Farms. Thank you, sir. 
Appreciate you. And if anybody else feels like hitting the subscribe button, it's it's legal. You are allowed to do that if you want. You can be just like Panel Farms and even said hello in the chat. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate that. So there you go. You could be just like him. Do it. Don't be scared. Frosty, if your son or daughter came to you and said, I want to be a truck driver, what advice would you give them? I'd say, you don't want to be a truck driver. <laughs> and then we'd have a nice long talk. But luckily, neither one of them have ever mentioned being a truck driver. So I don't think that'll happen. <laughs> if anything, my son's going to be living on the sea. Like, he just loves being on the water, fishing. Like, he might just go and make a career of it. Uh, Captain AC, he sometimes enters the chat when he's not on a voyage. Uh, he lives on the water pretty much all year round. Uh, he pops in here when he can, when he's like on land, which is not very often. Uh, that's the type of life I think my son's probably going to want to have once he's old enough. Yeah, and my daughter, she, she won't be a truck driver. No. That's not going to be in her cards, I don't think. Nothing against truck drivers. If there's any truck driver watching that doesn't know me, don't be mad. I, myself, was a truck driver for 12 years. I'm not talking bad on it. But it's, uh, neither of my kids are going to do it. I'll try to keep that from happening. <laughs> what do you and your son and daughter want to be? Um, uh, just said it. I think I just said it, didn't I? Yeah. Evening Frost in chat. Sorry, late. Son had a football game. Won 44 to 35. Woo! That was kind of a close one. It's kind of a close game there, sir. Sounds like a good one, though. Good offense, huh? Both teams. Going to the Navy, he would be on the water. Yeah, he's mentioned military, but, you know, I don't know what his plans are. I don't know if he'd want to do that or not. I think he just wants to get out on that water <laughs> and do some fishing. All right, let's back her on in here. Bailing is temporarily done for the moment. We'll come back to the alfalfa tonight here shortly. But we got to get those picked up off the field. And get them brought over to where we'll be storing them but we'll make some TMR first let's go get our bale wagon We go. I'm hoping this uh, trailer supports the square ones. It should. Guess we'll find out. Operating position. Oh, nope. We don't want operating position. I don't want to pick up that alfalfa bale. Ah, we'll turn it on. Come on, pick it up, Daddy. Yeah! All right. All right, so it does pick it up. Good stuff. <laughs> My father-in-law was in the Navy. He hated it. He said he stayed seasick for four years. Yeah, I I highly doubt my son will want to do that either. <laughs> now, like, I'm, he's a, like, he wants to fish. He's not going to, he's not going to want anything else in the way of fishing. It's either fishing or not fishing. So something in his future is going to be related to catching fish. I don't know which route he's going to go. But he's, uh, tomorrow, him and his friend, uh, his friend's parents are taking them and uh, his all his other buddies to another fishing tournament. So he'll be out on the water all day trying to catch some fish. Some more uh, pier fishing at the ocean. 
15 bales on this bad boy. Bad. All right, cool. So there's load number one. Let's go into transporting position. Still got two more to pick up. So we made 17 bales on that field. 17 square bales. Not bad. Pretty good. What's up, Michael? The Alaskan king crab fishing should be breaking. Oh, yeah. See, that's the kind of stuff he'd like to do. Uh, I don't. She's 10 years old, man. I don't. I'm not. She doesn't even know what she wants to be yet. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, she's got some time before she decides all that. She's not sure yet. All right, let's unload these. Somewhere. Can I drop them right there? Yeah, we'll drop them right next to this. Go pick up the remaining ones sitting on the field. I think there was two or three, two. Could be a great career. Gale Force twins, they are twin girls that create Facebook videos of their fishing trips. Even have their own fishing poles. See, they know what's going on. Yeah, I wish uh, I wish Captain AC was watching. He'd he'd tell you guys. He's he's. I I wouldn't mind my son having like a FaceTime call with Captain AC just just to uh, talk about you know what to expect doing that type of job. That'd be pretty cool, and I'm sure he would do it. He seems like the type that would do it in a heartbeat. All right, let's change this to transport and position. There's our final two high bales. <clears throat> yeah, she's only 10. My son's 14 and my daughter's 10. These ones... We don't even have to unload. We'll just leave them on the trailer to, for the telehandler to grab. There we go. All right, we're going to switch wagons. <coughs> Man. I don't know where this cough came from. <clears throat> it's a doozy, though. All right, so that's just for straw bedding. We might use it again later, but... Now, Glengar. Is Glengar still here? Glengar, where are you? This is Glengar and his... Uh, all of the guys he uh, mods with made this. First time using the uh, Mod Hub version of this. I used to use the PC only version of it. <clears throat> it's the Lizard Mech Fiber 365. I forget the actual name brand one. I forget what that thing was called. Ross, do you do still. Nope, I don't. My uh, tax guy told me to stop doing that. <laughs> Deep Creek. He's like, you need to stop doing that. It ain't helping you at all. I was like, good. I don't want to do it anyway. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go. I'll put this screen up for you. Actually. Yeah, I'll keep that screen up for you. That way you can see the percentages.
right, so we're going to do 40% on this. be able to take the whole bale. We'll do a little more. Actually, no. Let's uh, add some... Yeah, yeah, let's stick to my normal percentages or I'm just going to jack everything up. Alright, grab that off there. <clears throat> Uh, I went driver route. Don't recommend that, but I'm local and home every night and off on weekends, so not too bad anymore. Yeah, like I said, I wasn't talking bad on it. I just honestly don't think either one of them are going to want to be a truck driver. That's all. That's all I meant by that. Yeah, I did it for a long time. Definitely uh, put food on the table, that's for sure. Very good career if you do it right. gonna do a little bit of straw about 5,000 liters I don't know if we'll need all of it we're gonna bring the percentage up to 60% there you go back this bad boy up over here by the silage bunker <clears throat> and fill the rest of the uh, mixer with silage. And for that, we have this little guy here, the old turbo farmer, Merlot. It's a nice scoop of silage. Oh, baby. So this bucket holds about 2,600 liters. Probably take a few scoops. Uh, guess who? It's me, Frosty. Hello, Mr. Lewis. I responded to your very first comment. What do you think about that? What do you think about that, huh? His very first comment. Back me up, chat. I said hello to Mr. Lewis on his first comment of the night. That may be a new record right there. <clears throat> Have a good night, Mia. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. Who in the chat is from Idaho? Yeah, you're probably the only one, Deep Creek. Not many uh, I Idahodians in the house. <laughs> I say that and watch like five, ten hands right. They'll be like, no, I'm from Idaho. Frosty, I figured out the issue with my popcorn and fries on White Farm Conflict with the upgradable factor. Yeah, there you go. Which is something uh, I don't use, so that explains why I didn't know how to help you there, brother. Glad you figured it out, though. Did a little bit of troubleshooting and you got it all fixed. Look at that, TMR in there. We're not quite full though, but we got a nice mix. <clears throat> I'm going to buy a lottery ticket now, once in a million. Well, one in 257, that's right. 
found your channel recently, you have awesome gameplay and relaxing to join in and watch. Thank you, Antonio Rodriguez. Thank you. It's very nice of you. Uh, Chad Valentine, also a brand new subscriber. Thank you, Chad. Appreciate you, sir. Right, is that full? No. I think it needed just a hair more. That little mixer holds quite a bit, eh? Oh, today I also uh, went in and fixed that sheep stall. The little sheep cattle trailer thing we're using on the uh, survival series. I went in and changed it to from 6,000 liters of grass to 30,000. So now we won't have to feed them as often. It'll hold more food. There we go. And that's a full load right there. Are these doors open? No. Nope. All right, our first load of TMR heading to our little cows. 22,785 liters of TMR. It'll be unloading out of the left side chute here. Yeah. What's up, Lucas Whalen? Hello. Nobody lives in Kansas, just you. Ivan Dockery. Mr. Dockery. Coming in with the gifted Big Rig Frosty Gaming membership going to Richard Hollenbeck. Come on down. Very nice. Thank you, Ivan. Hey, Frosty. When will you be going back to the white farm again, says William Smith. I, I'll i be honest. This goes for anybody listening. I don't really schedule any farm. Any, any of the stuff I do is not really scheduled. It just kind of goes by the itch. Whatever itch I got, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's see how this bad boy works. Yeah. I like it. Right. So it's filling up the side here, right along there. They stick their heads through those bars there and start eating their food. Yeah, I'm not sure, buddy. I burned myself out a little bit on it. I'm not going to be done completely with that series. I just I need to slow down on it. We did 13 episodes in like a month <laughs> of that map. I love it. I just, I don't want to get to the point where I don't want to use it anymore. I like how it's uh, distributing it to the areas on that. It's cool. It doesn't always do that on every cattle barn out there. But this one does. I like it. Got their first feeding in. Goodness, that's very nice. Look at that. So now they have food, they have straw. That should definitely start bringing the health up. We'll start seeing uh, slurry produce. <clears throat> I can't remember if this one makes manure or not. I don't think it does, but I, it might. Oh, it does. It has manure heat. So just like the pig pen. We're going to see uh, manure start forming where we can scoop it up and load it up or automatically load it here, one or the other. Very nice. Is there a light switch in here? Or are these auto lights? Eh, must be auto lights. Probably come on around, s what is it, like 6 or 7 o'clock end game time. <clears throat> stuff, man. I like that. Hello, Frosty. Long time since I've caught you live because, well, life. I've been enjoying the new survival series. I haven't caught up all the way, but I'll get there. It's fun. It's been a good time. We've already done four episodes of the, the new survival series. Yeah, it's been a good time. I've, I've enjoyed it. It was very nice. All right, now that the uh, cows are fed, we don't really have to rush at making another mix. 
so we can uh, finish the alfalfa field we were working on. All right, so we'll bring this up there. We're going to need this to transport them down here. Or no, the alfalfa bales, we drop those off right up here where the sheep are. Yes, sir, Bobby. All right, so I think I'll do round bales for the alfalfa. Or wait a minute, does it wrap it? See, I can't remember what this map does. Because we have this baler here that wraps. And I don't want to have wrapped alfalfa, you know what I mean? We're probably going to have to make square alfalfa bales, which is fine. That'll be all right. All right, get that all merged together nice and pretty. What's up, Adam Small? Frosty, have you ever wanted to build your own map? Maybe call it the Jack Whacker. If I knew how to mod, of course I'd love to make a map, but I, I don't know how to mod at all. <laughs> I'm playing on the horse map, says William Smith. Now on that field one, I got it harvested yesterday while you were streaming, and now I'm going to mulch it. I forget which one's field one. All I know is that one field in the middle is massive. Absolutely gigantic. If that's the one you're working on, you must have some big equipment because that thing is huge. Massive. All right. I was going to do a series on that, and then I just... Something about that map didn't do it for me. We, we created a whole f animal yard and everything, too. I just wasn't feeling the vibes on it, you know what I mean? All right, so now we're going to be making some alfalfa bales. Once I learn how to drive. <clears throat> go. Ugh gonna start running into everything ain't I struggling let's go right down the middle not the biggest field this wasn't even a real field when we started the series I turned that into an alf alfalfa field it was just this uh, generic grass right here that you can't even like cut and get anything out of it. So I took a plow and created a little field here. So we had a, a nice alfalfa field to feed our sheep, which are right over there. So that was the reason behind that. Trying to catch it all. <clears throat> I really wish the logistic sim map you built didn't lo die. I I know. Oh, I was so mad, Jacob. I was so excited to show you guys that. I had container. I, I you should have seen how many containers I purchased, manhandled to stack nice and pretty to make it look like a little like a shipping port. I had the trucks and container trailers. Oh, I was so mad when that disappeared on me. Mm. And when it happened, I was like, there's no way I'm doing that all over again. I was so PO'd. <laughs> Man, it was, it was gonna be fun. 
and it just didn't work out. But doesn't mean I can't try to incorporate that into another map somehow. All right, we're all uh, pretty much good enough here. I'm Jason Balin. Frosty, the Chiefs and Lions yesterday was bad, was it? Chiefs lost to the Lions 21-20. How's that bad? That sounds like an awesome game, 21-20. That's super close. You're just mad because your team didn't win. That's why you think it was bad. But actually, that was a good game, I bet. And the Farming Simulator 22 added the Argentina map. So it's Francisco Garun. Uh, Argentina map? What, what's the name of the map? Argentina? You must be talking about like a modded map or something, huh? Yeah, I think in November, I forget the actual day, but November we get the next big expansion that has a new map and new productions, new crops. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. The map looks kind of cool. I think we get to build pianos. There's like a piano production. I, I don't know what all we're going to need, but uh, sounds pretty cool. All right, so now we'll bail up these. So here's my question. We're just going to make square bales to be safe. Okay, look at the texture of this grass. Look at this. Look at that. Now come look at the texture of this over here. That's not the same, is it? Is that the same? That's regular grass. So regular grass... And then that looks a little different. I I don't know. Maybe it's the same. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Looks like it's a hair brighter, right? I'll take now. I'll take now. Let's go. Alright, let's bail the rest of it. <clears throat> I'm waiting till Sunday to watch football all day. Alright. Sorry, sore subject. I know. Just thought that again got bum bummed. Uh, did you have third-party mods on that you built, or just... Oh, yeah, there's, there's tons of mods. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of third-party ones. But, I mean, I had been working on it for a week. I'd load it up, no problem. Kept continuing working on it. Everything was fine, and then just, boom, it just disappeared on me. Yeah, it was not, uh, not the happy camper that night. <laughs> Are you thinking of the 14th of November? I don't Is that when it comes out? I, I'm not sure. That might be it. Well, don't know. I have horrible memories, so. Can't remember when it releases. All right, this is probably going to fart out one more hay bale. Yep. But then the rest will be alfalfa. hefty swath right there. All right, so that just spit out one hay bale. The rest will be alfalfa here. You can see the difference in the color. It's like a bright green. <clears throat> What's an easy? A little baby field, but it's like more than enough to keep the sheep fed all the time. Like perfect little size. Provides just enough food. I think I even got some leftovers in storage from the last time we cut this field. So it's gives us more than we need, which is good. The Argentina map, it's really good. You can play the map the other day. 
The Argentina map, it's really good. You can play the map another day. An is that what you mean? Another? What, what's it called? What's the name of it? Did you say what the name of it is? Oh, Campo Argentino. It's a Spanish name map. Campo Argentino. And I was, uh, I've done Brazilian maps before. I've done a couple. I did the Pioneer map, and I did uh, Recanto, Recanto, I can't remember the other part of the word it was, but it was like Recanto Avocado, <laughs> I forget what it was. But some of you might remember, it's the one that had the coffee bean orchards, where you could harvest coffee beans with a coffee bean harvester. That was kind of cool. Yeah, uh, played on that for a little bit, not too long. That was a fun, fun Brazilian map. It was big. It was a pretty good size map. And then I did a map called the Pioneer Map, where I, I was going to do like a survival series, but I just, it was another one of those. I wasn't feeling it. it just wasn't that good. All right. Spit that out. All right, so we got one, two, three, four. We got five alfalfa bales out of that little field there. Not by it. Let's reset our bales. Okay. Nice. And once our... Uh, cows that we bought once they start producing fertilizer that'll be a free way of keeping my alfalfa field and my grass field fertilized without spending money get these picked up leave that hay bale sitting out there. I just want to pick up these guys. Right. Alfalfa all picked up. Very nice. If I do this right, I can back in, scoop up the other ones. Even though those are grass bales in there. Uh, I can feed them grass or alfalfa. No biggie. Operating position. Uh, yeah, see him sitting back there? Yeah. All right, so I picked up all the bales we own. <clears throat> Now, <laughs> I was going to try to, how am I going to do this? If I back in at an angle, I can unload these in here. Right. How am I going to get out, though? I'll, I'll get out. Not too worry about it. See how far we can slide these over. Oh, perfect. That's perfect. Bloop. Look at that. Almost like I know what I'm doing. Come on, right? Very nice. Hey, Frosty, did you see they released another video for the Australian Truck Simulator? I did not. But I want to play that whenever, whatever year that comes out. That looks pretty sweet. I'll haul the road trains Australian style. Yeah. I'll have to watch that. I didn't know they uh, had a new video for it. Hey, Renor, sir. Did not know that. All right. So we got these loaded up in here nice. That's all for the sheep. Very good. Oh, there's a light switch. All right, cool. I 
wonder how much food the sheep have. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness gracious. Ugh. Ooh, we can feed them. All right. I'll bring the old uh, JCB up here and we can feed the sheep too. All right. Hey, we knocked out pretty much most of my list already tonight. Let me see here. Sold stuff. Canola oil, all that stuff. Gardens, didn't really need water, didn't have to do that. Cut grass and alfalfa, fed the pigs, made TMR, took the apple juice to the factory. I've done everything on my list. So anything we do from this point is just extra stuff. So we'll uh, <clears throat> feed the sheep, feed the uh, chickens and ducks. They probably need some food. Might make another batch of TMR the cows so yeah just do some animal care i got leftover wrapped bales sitting up in the attic there for a rainy day if we ever run out of bunker silage here we go <clears throat> i don't know what's going on with my throat chat <clears throat> Not too good, though. What's... What's cheating, Oregon? Those... Those skills backing in there and unloading that? That was good stuff. You can have a go at driving the trucks I drive, says Lucas. <clears throat> I... There was a map on ATS. Oh, I can't remember the name of the map, but it was an Australian map. And I did the B doubles trains with, uh, I think I was using the Kenworth K200. Yeah, I was using the K200 Australian setup. It was fun. It was fun. I like all the different ways that different countries have things set up. That's why I love Euro Truck. It's unique, different. All right, we're going to head up the hill here and feed the El Sheepos There's an oxbow pack. Yeah, the oxbow pack's coming out almost like, almost about a week from now. Nothing too crazy. Uh, we're not going to get a whole lot out of that. But get like a big drivable slurry tank. And uh, I think it's another, I think it's another merger type thing. I, I put up a little short today. It show, There's only like two items. Alright, so this is where we're going to feed the uh, sheep. And they do require straw also. Oh, no they don't. I thought they did. They got that straw bedding that tricked me for a minute. Look at them all. They're so happy. They got a pretty nice looking pasture too. Got some goats as well. Yeah, we're gonna give you some alfalfa, or would you like some grass? What are you in the mood for, laddie? <clears throat> How you open this thing? Oh. All right, so we're gonna let's grab like two of them. Yeah. <laughs> 
see how much of these they take. 13,000 liters. I don't know if they'll need all that. But. Yeah, they got some leftovers. But you know what? You can just leave them there. And you don't have to feed them for a real long time. I got sneeze. <coughs> wow! Yeah, baby. All right. <laughs> All right. So they're totally filled up on uh, grass there. <clears throat> Lights off in there. <clears throat> What's up, exploring with redneck? How are you? Top of the evening, Dion Champion. Tony, Tony. Tony's been talking to everybody uh, everybody else. He doesn't talk to me much. That's why I have a, that's why I don't read his comments as much cuz he's always talking to everybody else. So when I when he does talk to me, I miss it. You know what I mean? I'm in the mood for lovely alfalfas and grass salad. Oh yeah. Sound yummy. All right, let's make another mix for the cows. So we'll put up the mix screen top left so you can follow along. And do 40% on hay. <clears throat> you never read my that's what I mean. I can't because you're always talking to other people. I don't I don't know how to see it. I miss it. That's like Deep Creek. Like sometimes he's talking to me, but most of the time he's talking to everyone else. So I gotta like I gotta like proofread everything to see who's actually talking to me. Uh, let me see. We should do a frosty fantasy football league. We got six people here that would join. I bet you there'd be more than six. Yeah, you'd probably have a pretty good amount that would be interested. I'm like one of the few that does not watch football. Most of you do. I just uh, I just lost interest in it years ago. I think I I think my big turn on watching it was the whole Colin Kaepernick garbage. Like that's when I just lost interest because I was a hardcore 49ers fan and that just made me vomit in my mouth watching all that crap. And then from that day on, I just kind of didn't watch football anymore. <laughs> and I, I don't miss it, to be honest. It's freed up a lot of time for other things than what I would have been doing watching the football game. No work tonight, says DJ Thundercat. Come out. No work for DJ Thundercat. Oh. All right, let's get this to 60% here. Oh, that was almost gone already. Grab us another. Looks like we'll have plenty of leftover straw for uh, straw bedding, too. <clears throat> Get this up to 60. Yep. I'll set up a league tomorrow and post the link on Discord. Whoa! Did you hear that? Did you hear that chat? If anybody likes fantasy football, I don't I think Ian might be serious right now. He can set one up and uh, have a little frosty fantasy league without frosty in it. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it just for fun, but I ain't gonna watch any of the games. It'll be all luck. Uh, 12 meters looks like the Oxbow pack will have a new merger. Yes, it's got a new kind of like the one we were using, but I think it's a bigger one. The Oxbow one's going to be bigger. Yep. All right, we just got to add silage to the mix and we're good to go. We'll have some TMR up in there. Now uh, we got Dennis Giersch. Dennis Giersch. Coming in with a $20 soup jack. This Frosty. I want to help Kevin out since he isn't his 20 question self. Oh, he's asked quite a few tonight. You must have missed it, Dennis. 
Ah, uh, so here it goes. Do you like cheese? Are you asking, do I like cheese on everything? The answer is yes. I'll put it on almost everything. I love cheese. Uh, what's your favorite cheese? It's a, it's a, it just depends on what I'm putting it on. Like, I love sharp cheddar, but I love Colby Jack cheese, but I like mozzarella. It just depends what it's going on. Sometimes I even like uh, blue cheese, crumbled blue cheese on certain things. I, oh, 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 oh. So I can't say I have a favorite cheese. I like them all, Betty. Uh, does Cheese Whiz belong on a cheese steak? Cheese Whiz? No, I don't like Cheese Whiz. That's the stuff in the can. Blech. Yeah, I don't do that. I don't do that. Uh, clonk in my... What's going on, buddy? It's our state fair this week. Can't wait to see the livestock. My favorite part, says John. Uh, Tony Martig asked, what am I doing this weekend? We got like a community yard sale tomorrow morning. I'll try to go to it. But I one, I got to be at that bail stacking challenge. I have to be in Discord. That's the uh, G portal. I have a little G portal thing. I never, I always forget to play it. I don't know, I don't know where it's at. That's why. <laughs> where the heck? There, there it is. We do have, I am partnered with G Portal, and tomorrow is like a G Portal FS22 bail stacking event. And it's like single round elimination. So you get one chance. You either win or you don't advance. And that starts at 2.30 p.m. Eastern. So I'll be doing that. I gotta be in Discord at like one o'clock, an hour and a half early. I don't know why we gotta be in there that early, but. I guess I'll be there, eh? <laughs> so, uh, that'll be live streamed, not by me, that'll be live streamed by Virtual Farmer. That's the name of the guy who's hosting it so people can watch. Virtual Farmer. And I have no idea, like, I don't know what time I'm gonna be going against the other guy. I have no idea how it's set up. I just know that it starts at 2.30 p.m. Eastern. That's all I know. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing the rest of the weekend. A blue cheese hamburger. Yeah, blue cheese. Uh, it just, yeah, it just depends. It's Blue cheese is not my favorite cheese. But there's certain meals that it just goes really good with. Oh, Miss Frosty. She, uh. She puts blue cheese crumbles on French fries. Mm. Like we'll uh, put French fries in the air fryer, and then once they come out hot, we put the blue cheese on on it. Ha, ha, ha. Oh. Blue cheese on my French fries. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Does anybody else feel that way when they uh, put blue cheese on their french fries? I can't be the only one, right? Now, what are we at? 95%? One more scoop and we'll have a full load. One more scoop. We're going to have to rip into those silage bales in the attic of the barn. That silage there is not going to last too long. Not going to last. All, right. All she wrote. This is load number two going on to the cow barn there. <clears throat> Blue cheese on salad, yes. Blue cheese on salad's also good. It's really good on french fries, you should try it. For me, Cheese Whiz and Provolone belong on a cheese steak. Frosty, so far in three games in softball this fall, I'm nine for 11 at the plate. That's like, 
That's like Sammy Sosa numbers there. Tells you how long it's been since I watched a baseball game. Talking about Sammy Sosa. <laughs> You're hungry now, Patrick? I think I'm always hungry. Right, let's drive nice and slow along here. <coughs> Man. I think it's allergies. I think that's why my throat's acting up. I, I, I cut, I mowed the yard today. Weed eated, mowed, leaf blue, and then did a bunch of hedge trimming and picking up all the clippings. I think maybe it's just a little much because my allergies suck. It doesn't take much to get them going. So that might be why I'm feeling this way tonight. Feeling a little congested. I like how you can get right up against the wall. Some modded cow barns, like the trigger will stop when you get too close. This lets you get right up against it. I like that. Yeah, good stuff. And like I said, you guys, we occasionally see a Glen Gar boy in the chat. He's him and the, I think it's the Agri Air uh, modding team. They're the ones behind this uh, mixer wagon. And it works very nice. I think we'll just get the uh, cows a little more straw bedding, and then they're good to go for a while. I don't think we have to, like, top them off completely with food. Detach from the mixer. <clears throat> and load up some straw. Alright, Hunter Moore, have a good one, brother. Air frying steak in my truck literally right now. Are ya? Air frying steak. <laughs> Sammy Sosa used a cork bat. True. Uh, we have a place in California that makes blue cheese pear and honey ice cream. What? Oh, that's going too far. That's the wrong direction there. Blue cheese with ice cream? You, and you like it, huh? Sounds like it should be banned. Sounds like a torture technique. All right, you're going to tell me. You're going to tell me the name of that man that's got the stuff. I need to find out. And if you don't tell me, I'm giving you a big bowl of peach ice cream with blue cheese in it. So you better talk right now. I'd speak. I'd, I'd tell them immediately whatever they need to know. Oh my God, do not put that near me. Ugh. Californians are weird. Hi, Frosty. I'm here now. I was out with my girlfriend. Woo! -hoo. Ted Springer was out with his girl. I'm not gonna ask the details, but I'm glad you made it back here to Big Rig Frosty. Right where you belong. Tell that girlfriend to go home. Got Big Rig Frosty to watch right now. <laughs> oh, crap. Hey, why is that not, uh, that get caught in the mixer or something? Oh, we're not mixing. We're we're doing straw bedding. I was like, what's going on there? I thought we had the mixer hooked up. All right, we're just throwing bales in here to tear up, to shred. <laughs> it's like, why is that not disappearing?
Ah, that's good enough. Three is enough. Actually, the one was almost gone. Let's put one more in there. Dub that right there in the rear end there. Whoop. There we go. I had to go into the XMLs of this uh, telehandler, and the volume was at 3.0 for any modders that might be watching. That is stinking loud. It was like blowing my eardrums out. So I had to go in and put it down to like 1.0, and it's still loud. Not too loud. But it was, it was like three times louder than this. It was bad. I had to fix it. <clears throat> I wish I could watch you do the bail contest, but I got college football to watch. Hey, I, trust me, it's going to be super quick anyway. I mean, I'd love anybody to stop by and watch it. Um, but it's going to be quick. It's single elimination. I, I feel like it's going to be 45 minutes to an hour long stream by Virtual Farmer. I, I think he's the only one hosting it. If I find out any more information, I'll let you guys know. I'll put the link to it, maybe, if I'm able to, like, once it goes live. I'll put the link in my Discord. I'll put it in the community tab here on YouTube. Uh, that'll be around tomorrow, around 2.30-ish Eastern p.m. All right, let's drop some straw in here. And I like how you can drive along in here, too. Almost full, right? Accepting a lot of straw, isn't it? <laughs> uh, good evening, Matthew Viao. We got Ice Dragon coming in with the gifted membership. Thank you, all, Ice Dragon. Sending a gifted big rig membership to Joe Coleman. Thank you so much, Ice Dragon. Appreciate you, Daddy. That's got to be almost empty, right? Come on. I'm waiting for it to say filled. Those cows are loving life, huh? Got fresh food, fresh bedding. All right, it used all all the bales. Holy cow! Which bales does this thing take? But there's our sheep and goats. They're they're perfect. Ooh, we need to get some more grain over to the ducks and the chickens here next. Cow barn. Wow. That only put them at fifty percent. That the, wow. So they hold like 80,000 liters of straw. Holy moly. Fine. Pigs are fine. All right, we'll focus on the chickens now. Let me get that all finished. I'm all closed up in here. I'm looking for like a light switch. There was a light switch in the one shed, so you would think there's a light switch over here too. I'd like to keep the lights on in here all the time. Run up that electric bill, you know what I mean? I just don't see a, a switch. Here's the milking station. Yep, no light switch anywhere. Huh. Oh well. Hey, what are you gonna do, you know? It is one to dish. Alright, 
cool. Thank you, Ice Dragon. Appreciate you, buddy. Enjoying your stream. Keep up the good work, says Roman G. Thank you very much, Roman G. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for the kind words. I see new names, but I don't see uh, the subscriber thing popping up. Where's the subscribers at? Did you subscribe, or is my alerts not working? I have never seen your name in the chat, sir. Troy Tweedy says, Frosty, you should try blue cheese on your pot liquors. My pot liquors. My pot stickers, huh? That actually might not be bad. Not even kidding. That might go well. Pot stickers with blue cheese crumbled on top. It'll be all right. I'm not opposed to uh, trying that. What did I say we were going to do? Feed the chickens, right? <clears throat> so we'll have to hook up to the uh, grain trailer, get some wheat. Oh, if we have any. Uh, do I have any in the silo? Mm, all I have in the silo is corn. Dang it. Hey, but look at this. Look at this. On this map... The ducks and the chicken eat corn. Look at that. We can feed them grain or corn and lettuce. So let's give them some temporary corn, eh? I've got plenty of it in the silo. Let's do it. It's connected there. It's nice to have some Aussies in here. There, there's quite a few. I look, I, I was wrong. I looked up numbers. So here's the top viewed regions for Big Rig Frosty Gaming Channel. America, of course, is number one. Number two is the United Kingdom. Number three is Canada, and then Australia is number four. And then I forget what else happens after Australia. But Australia is the fourth most uh, viewership. Yeah, we got we got quite a handful of Australians, <clears throat> which is pretty pretty cool. It's like the other side of the world. It always amazes me that people tune in from all these different regions. Glengar boy, again. Uh, this trailer here, awesome. The Brogan. This uh, trailer's by the Airy, uh, the Eerie, the Eerie Air. The I forget how you say it, but they made it too. All right, I can never pronounce it right. All right, corn. Where are we at? There's some corn. We'll just get a full load. Probably not going to need it, but... 23,000 liters. I don't think they're going to need that much. There are loose chickens and ducks everywhere. Look at these guys. <laughs> They're all over the place. Got quite a few of them. And then we just dump to this little uh, white grain box sitting by the shelves. That yeah, didn't take much to fill that. So it holds 4,000 liters, and we just topped it off with corn. That's how you feed them. Pretty easy, eh? Pretty easy. I'm going to leave the load of corn in there, because that's the only crop we have. A 
love that. Strap animation. Stuff. I've been subscribed for a few months. Watch every evening while I play FS19. Get some good laughs watching you. Keep it up. Well, thanks for saying hello. I like seeing uh, people say hello when they can. Appreciate that. Thank you for watching the uh, content, sir. We're just going to keep this under here because each month I skip time. We'll probably have to feed the chickens and ducks again anyways. good to me. Alright, so chickens, there you go. We filled them up with corn and they got a little bit of grain. That'll get their health back up a little bit. They're good. Surprised their health hasn't went up at all since we fed them the first time. Oh, I restricted... No, I didn't restrict uh, reproduction because I don't have a full pen. So it's okay if they have more babies. Couldn't afford to fill the whole pen up. Right. There you go. Oh, thank they? Nice. Hop around this fence. Be looking at my dirty drawers there. They're out there drying. They're clean. Need to dry. It looks like your trailer became possessed. A little bit. Uh, Frost, do you like the update to the 1982 special? I haven't tried it yet, to be honest, so I don't know yet. I've been watching a lot more FS content on YouTube due to me breaking my leg. Ugh. Now having metal in your leg, says Josh Bennett. So you're kind of forced to relax and watch stuff, and luckily you came across me, eh? Oh, well, appreciate it. Wish it wasn't for that reason, though. That sucks, buddy. Hope you uh, heal up fast. Australia is 10,374 miles from Knight Rider Gaming. <laughs> I don't feel like bringing the telehandler up all the way up here for that. This is a hay bale. Okay. So hay bale. Just going to bring that down here. Shove it right there. We could store all our bales. We have that nice uh, loading system. Yeah, let's do that now. And then that'll probably be the end of the show, chat. My, my voice is uh, not doing too hot tonight for some reason. Throat's a little scratchy. I keep coughing. I don't know why. I don't know why. I think it's just the allergies. <clears throat> This map has the built-in automatic bale storage. So I just bring these bad boys over here. Right like this. And boom. It puts them in storage up in the attic. It just stacked them right behind the silage bales there. So nice, easy, organized. Get them out of your yard so it's not making a mess. make her a few laps back and forth Not too long hi frosty i just got done watching wwe smackdown yeah yeah smack it down pretty cool and then when you want to get bales out you just <laughs> click on this spawn it out and then it puts it right here isn't that fancy maybe no awesome <clears throat> 
I, I'm loving this thing. It's picking these up like it ain't no thing. Easy. It's not even acting like it wants to tip over. Super stable. There you go. It's building a wall up there in the attic of uh, hay bales. Google what? Never mind, I Googled it, says Johnny. For the Ford truck you got last night, what AR grain bins goes on it? Well, the one I bought was not an AR one. So Crownzilla is the one who makes them. He's got a set that's non-AR, where it's just the truck, you know, like the one I bought last night. Or you can get the AR package. And you can get it all from his itch.io, Crownzilla. I forget what it is. It's Crownzilla something. Crownzilla Edits, maybe, I think is what, what is what he's called. But yeah, it's got two separate versions you can download. <clears throat> I download them all and activate them together. It doesn't hurt nothing. <clears throat> Uh-oh. <laughs> little uneven ground there. Tomorrow's bale stacking day. Oh, boy. I'm not going to hold my breath that I'll... I don't know. I'd like to get past the first round, at least. Or I'll, I'll be a little disappointed in myself. But sing, single round elimination, that's a little rough. It's kind of harsh. So it's like, better show up ready or you ain't gonna be there very long. <clears throat> you found his itch, there you go. Does anyone have problems with 82 Studios 1982 Special messing up their game? Uh, it might be a, another mod conflict or something. Because he's he's been modding for quite a long time, so I doubt. I, I don't know. It shouldn't be any issue with his, his actual stuff. It's probably just a conflict he got going. Yeah, he heavily tests his stuff, like, regularly. It's one thing he does do a lot is test, test, test all his stuff before he releases it. Uh, good night, Frosty and chat. Work in the morning. 3 a.m. comes early. All right, night rider. Peace out, brother. Straw bales over here. It's got two different spots. You can drop them. It doesn't seem to matter, though. It spawns them over in the middle anyway. Now, where the heck did it spawn the straw ones at? Where did the straw bales go? That disappeared. That ain't cool. <clears throat> Where the heck did they go? These are all silage. Where the heck did the straw bales go? Dang it. It says there's three straw round bales in storage, but they're not showing up. That's interesting. I don't like that. I gotta, I gotta be able to see them. Oh, I'm gonna spawn them out and put them somewhere else because I'll forget I have them if I don't see it. Wait a minute. It's not showing up there, but it's showing up here. What the heck, man? And I just spawned those, but they didn't spawn. Ah, uh, something's a little fishy here. The heck did my bales go, chat?
just got robbed of four straw bales. Heck. Am I, am I missing something here? I don't get it. Hmm. Yeah, we got, uh, we got robbed. All right. So don't use that far one. At least I can't. Hmm. You didn't miss a dying thing. Liam McGoldrick. Have a good night. Good night, Brian Santor. How far is Gaffney, South Carolina from you? Uh, Gaffney? I don't know. I'm, I'm near Charleston. So however far away Gaffney is from Charleston. I've heard of Gaffney, but I have no idea where it's at. Everyone get those Frosty Rage stickers. I don't know where they went, uh, Jacob. I'm kind of scared to... Yeah. I'm not going to put them over there. I'm just going to put them under here. I don't want to lose them. I don't want to lose them. All right, chat. Here, what do you think? Should we end the night by uh, doing a little practice round of bale stacking? What do you think? We got Carpenter Scott dropping the $20 Australian super chat. We were just talking about all the Australian viewers. Well, there's Carpenter Scott dropping it hot. Oh, thank you, brother. This is a great stream, Frosty. I like this map. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. We uh, mixed it up and headed over to this map. It's been a while. This is episode five, so definitely need to try this map more often, mix it in more. It's, it's fun. I almost forgot what all we had done on it when I loaded it up because it had been so long. But what do you think? Should we head over to the bale stacking challenge and get a little practice for tomorrow? Because we're all caught up on, we've got everything caught up. Got it all. We made alfalfa bales. We cut this big grass field tonight and made a bunch of hay bales. And made deliveries sitting at 55 grand. Not bad. Not bad. All right, so that'll be it for this. Let's make sure we do a hard save. I don't want to lose my, my prowl grass. That thing's pumping out apple juice. Okay, looking good. All right, we're gonna head to the main menu. <coughs> I would love to see you do some bus simulator. Uh, bus simulator 21 or 22 or whichever the newest one is that I have. Uh, they just came out like last week or two weeks ago. They came out with a school bus DLC. It's got actual branded school buses. So it's a possibility. I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's go to multiplayer <clears throat> bail stacking mode. And... I could uh, join a match and let the challenge begin. I could just join someone random. Let's try that. Let's try that. I'm going to join some random person for some bail stacking. Searching for servers. Probably nobody doing it. Oh. It's connecting me to somebody. Thank you very much, Carpenter Scott. Uh, looks like you have a mod conflict because I'm on the map right now and mine is working. Just tested my bales. Well, maybe I do, Burton McKinney. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I bought those bales. Maybe it doesn't store purchased bales. It only stores bales you created yourself, maybe? I don't know. All right, save and continue. I'm going up against Marco3659. And we're rocking the uh, case 
We got the quickie front loader attack. That's the other thing I don't know tomorrow. I don't know what tractor we're going to be using. It's going to, it's all completely random. I don't know. All right. Let's see how we do against uh, Marco 3659. This ought to be interesting. I got my sensitivity all the way up so I can get maximum, maximum efficiency out of my front loader. So what do we got? Two, four, six. We got eight bales we want to stack here. 25 seconds. We got the countdown top right corner. Bus Sim 21. Yeah. Bass Singer, have a good one. Anybody that's heading out, uh, if you could, just smack the like button on the way out. I appreciate you all being here. I'm going to do maybe one or two rounds of this. And then we'll call tonight. All right. Countdown. Here we go. What are we waiting for? The countdown already started. Let's go. What are we sitting here waiting for? Why has this not started yet? Okay, Smoky Tom B93 just joined. All right, now can <laughs> I'm not going to keep sitting here waiting for a minute, minute, minute. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Chase. Is it really going to wait till there's enough people to do it? <sighs> two at a time, says Kevin. Yeah, two at a time. I try to get them at an angle. So I'll scoop up that one in the right in front of me, the one to the far left. Scoop, drop. Two, 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 bada bing, bada boom. If we do it properly. And the guy just backed out. If this doesn't start, I'm going to back out and just practice. Do it, do it my own uh, round. I don't want to keep waiting. So if it doesn't start, I'm leaving. Three, two, one. Get ready. All right, there we go. Five. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Already messed up. Too far, too too close in with that bale. It's going to be hard to scoop this one up. Yep, yep. Already messed up. That's all it takes. One little mess up, and I'll lose big time tomorrow. You got to keep a big enough gap to get to. We want to kind of get it on the corner there. Then that leaves enough room to get the next one. That's what I was trying to do on the first go. The other guy must have fell asleep, or he's not doing it, or he's really struggling. <laughs> One or the other. <clears throat> All right, now we'll go back to finishing out with doubles. Grab this right here. Little mistakes like that cost you. So the time we're at right now, 1 minute 27 seconds. That's Argsy Gaming's record with eight bales. He would have been done right now. And I still got one, two, three, four to go. And drive back to the uh, finish zone. <sighs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get annihilated tomorrow. Going to get straight up destroyed. Not expecting to win, that's for sure. <laughs> right. There's 
there's what I needed to be doing the whole time, right like that. If you can do four nice scoops like this, then you can get a really good time. I think that guy like backed out completely of his own match he created. <laughs> he just quit. All right, so it's just me against nobody. And there you go. <sighs> So even out of the server ranking that I'm in right now, whatever server I'm in, I'm the worst. I'm at love I'm at 16 rank out of 16. <laughs> Not good, mine. Not good at all. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Pretty bad, huh? <coughs> oh, I knew I wouldn't be looking good for tomorrow. All right, I'm going to do bail stacking one more match, but this is just going to be uh, offline practice. Just got to eat your Wheaties tomorrow, and I have faith in you, says Thomas. Good evening. What's up, Matt Brog? Do they have to be neat? Nah. You go in circles, so you hit it at top speed. Go, Frosty, go. Go, Frosty, go. All right. What's the starting time? Admin settings. <clears throat> Start countdown five, automatic reset, match timeout countdown, blah, blah, blah. Bail count 15. Heck no. Doing eight. Because I think that's what we're doing tomorrow. That's, that's all I know is eight. All right. So now it puts us, it's random. So now it put me in a John Deere. How do I start? Control S. The heck? Start game. S. Why the heck did it just add more time when it says start game? Ah. All right, so we got a very long countdown. This is silly. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, I sadly will miss the stream. I won't be streaming it. I'm not streaming it. Uh, what time tomorrow? I have to take my meds, so I'm out. Thanks for the entertainment. It's uh, Virtual Farmer is the one hosting it on YouTube. Virtual Farmer. That's the streamer at 2.30 p.m. Eastern, which is my time, 2.30 p.m. Eastern, East Coast, USA time. And I, like I said, I can't tell you when I go or I don't know how it's all organized. I have no idea. But that's when the show starts. All right, I'm going to try this one more time here, chat. 30 seconds till we start. <clears throat> all about the angle. First person view would definitely not be good for me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get ready. Get ready. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Started off strong, no mistakes yet. Ah, that bale's leaning inward. Mother eater butthole. Gosh, that's so freaking frustrating. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, you gotta. That's. Yeah, I'm gonna get just playing up destroyed tomorrow chat no chance you you all just watch your football tomorrow okay there's no no need to tune into what i'm about to do tomorrow it's gonna be a big old mess mm -mm -mm. 
Yes, sir. Two, four, five. That is like one mistake just like destroys your time. One mistake. be nice to at least break a minute two minutes I mean I ain't gonna be yep it's gonna take too long I'm gonna be over two minutes again oh they're gonna kick my butt whoever this Tony guy is I'm going up against he's gonna kick my butt I can't believe Argsy did that in a minute, 27 seconds. Even if you do great, like, that's a hard time to beat. Ugh. Two minutes and nine seconds. I don't know. What what did I do on that first one a little bit ago? How bad did I do on that one? I know I did better this time, but it's still not good. It's still really bad. So there you go. But that's it, chat. That's it for tonight. Uh, I think he'll be sleeping when it's on. Just jinxed yourself badly. Uh, love the G-rated attitude, mother. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was a little rough, huh? Dang it. That's what practice is for? Yeah, I'm not going to practice. It's just for fun. If I do good, I do good. If I don't, I probably won't. <laughs> All right, chat. But thank you very much for everyone that hung out tonight. I hope you enjoyed the show. I had a blast, as always. And uh, it was a good time. So you all have a splendid evening. If I don't see you over the weekend, I'll see you probably Monday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Okay? So we'll be back to our normal shows Monday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Thank you so much. That's going to do it for me. It's Big Rig Froster Gaming signing off. Good night. Oh, I improved by 40 seconds? All right, see? Not too bad. Not good enough, though. I don't think that's... I don't even think that two... What I just did now, I don't think that's going to be good enough to win even one round. Yeah, I'll let you guys know. For those that do show up, like I said, Virtual Farmer, you can tune in at 2.30 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, and maybe you'll get to see how uh, excellent I do. <laughs> All right, chat. We'll catch you on the next one. See you later. Peace.